Hi, paint pouring enthusiasts. I had so much fun the other day doing that blown flower painting. This one right here that I decided I'm going to do another one with some variations. Got a lot of good comments. People love doing it. Some people were running to their studios to do these paintings and I saw the results of a few. Really appreciate you guys the response that, that I've had to that, to that video of this flower. It's such a simple process. So I'm going to do it again. There's going to be some variations. And another question I get a lot is about doing paintings with inexpensive craft paint. Yes, you can. I use artist paint, but I also use craft paint different, uh, for different reasons. And today I'm going to use Americana brand. It's an inexpensive craft paint. And what I did was I ordered a set called Popular Picks. It's a set of 18 colors. One thing about these uh, craft paints is they, they have wonderful colors. They always know what to do color-wise. They're just, let me show you the lids. Just beautiful colors, contemporary, whatever's popular. You can't go wrong with these colors. They're ready to use straight out of the bottle. So here's my variation today. I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. This last painting I did is 12 by 24. And again, if you haven't seen the video to the last flower painting, I have the link in the description below this video so you can catch up with that one. But we're going to do something very similar today. Just I'm going to start out a little different. So here we go. I'm going to pour some white down. I already have this gesso, dried layers of gesso. I gesso every canvas as a protective layer. It just helps give you a better end product. The colors stay on top, stay brighter. And I'm going to do the white like I did last time. Now here's my first variation. I have some colors that are going to be soft background colors. This one's called Buttermilk. Again, these are straight Americana. No mixing, just, this is one of my favorites. It's called Bahama Blue. My idea here is to get a, just a soft background. Before I start doing the, the flowers. You just give it a little more depth, a little more interest, and we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to back this down just a little bit. Okay, there's a fairly soft pastel background. Now I'm going to proceed with my puddles. These are, we're going to pour some puddles. This is the fun part, but then we're going to mess it up in a little while. Just random. I have, you know, I have these colors grouped into the way I think these flowers ought to look, but I'm still mixing up the order a little bit so they don't all turn out the same. This one's going to have more flowers than that last video I did, so we'll see how that turns out with more of a bouquet of flowers. Also a little bit of white can be interesting. I'm going to 
take my background color and add it to this one. I wasn't thinking about that, but why not? Maybe one more. I'm going to do some blues. the order Let's see maybe I'll do one up here that'll end up running off the edge which is good I like my flowers to go off the edge a little bit so they're not all contained into the canvas it looks like they go on and on that's the idea Okay, I'm going to look here see if I want to do another one, maybe one more right here. I'm going to mix these colors up on this one a little bit more. So there's a blue, a pink. This one will be different than the others. But then when you blow them out, you never know what it's going to look like. So you just have to kind of go with your gut instincts and see what happens. Well, let me see. Do one more over here. Looks a little lonely over here. You just um, have to stop and decide if you want to add. Flowers are often like an explosion of color so I think having a lot of flowers is probably the way to go in, in, in a lot of cases so that's what we're doing here all right I'm gonna blow on these and we'll, we'll reassess then and see what this looks like and I can always add some more if I want to so here we go with some blowing Turn it so I can blow the other direction. Okay. This one looks like the feature flower to me, so I'm going to enhance this one a little bit and blow a little bit more, maybe make it just a little different than the others. Make it a little bigger. I like it when there's, there's one flower that's bigger. Maybe add some more of this dark blue. I'm going to blow on this a little bit more, spread it out. Yeah, I like that. See, it's overlapping these other flowers too, which is nice.
So you can see when you blow, you start to get some petal-like shapes. This one even has sort of a ring based on the way I blew it. Now I'm going to turn it around the way I had it. This one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with my wet background, I'm going to take some of this wet background and with my candy apple stick and I'm going to drag some petal shapes back into it. Just, just some. And it'll give, give more of a flower petal shape to some of these. I'm just picking, I'm just jumping around here, but that's the way I do stuff. Just a little petal shape so they're not just too blobby. Just looking at places that have solid lines that look like it could benefit from some background color being drugged into it. Just shape them up just a little. Not bad. I'm wiping off my stick between swipes so I don't end up muddying the whole thing. Okay, those look pretty good. Now I'm using some bluegrass green straight out of the bottle. These are going to be my stems. And again, I'm just going to very loosely drag some, some stems down so they kind of group together. It's just going to be a little more bouquet-like than the last one I did. So it kind of looks like they're coming from the same spot. Again, you don't have to do every exact thing. Like you can leave that one. I might leave that one alone. Just let it be a, a flower flying. Leaf shape. Other leaves. So we're just having fun with this. There's no right or wrong. You could make adjustments. Now what I like to do is use some black to define this, define these shapes. Now black is not included in this little set of Americana that I was using. Everything else that I'm using was in this popular picks group of, uh, of paint, but black, you can get black anywhere. So I got my candy apple stick. I'm going to do some just really quick outlining. I'm not going to outline the whole thing. It's just in some places. It gives the viewer the idea. It makes the flowers just a little sharper. And again, I'm not worried about what kind of flowers these are. That's the fun of, of flowers is it doesn't matter what kind of flowers they are. So you don't have to think, gee, does it look like anything in particular. This is really nice the way there's some variation there. I like that. I'm not going to touch that one. So again, I'm working very quickly, making quick decisions, but that's because I'm videoing. But really, that this is about how quickly you could work anyway. It doesn't have to take a long time. 
the more you labor over something, the, the more labored it looks. This, we want this to be kind of spontaneous. I think people appreciate it. They said, they'll look and say, how did you do that? This one's a little lonely up here. And then as a final touch, I'm going to add some the little centers to some of these. When you use when you put yellow against blue, it's it's always it always looks good. I can see see I'm using straight paint instead of instead of the uh, mixture, so I'm having to blob it on. Using straight out of the bottle. Okay, we'll call that good. Maybe do it to uh, this one in a in a minor way, just to repeat it. And then. I'm going to take a little black and just put a hint in a couple of these. Again, it just it kind of helps define the flowers. I don't want to do the same thing to all of them. Cuz all there's no two flowers alike. But I think I'm going to stop there. So there you are with Americana craft paint. These are two ounce bottles. I, I just used, you know, this much paint, pouring medium, a little water, and um, there's no silicone in these. Again, you don't need to have silicone. You don't need to have cells. Just have some fun, blow it out, and there you have a, an instant flower painting in just a few minutes. You can teach a class on this. Get your friends, get kids, put yourself a wet background. Remember to keep your puddles a little bit small because when you blow it they're going to get bigger so there's a painting and by the way i have a patreon page if you want to join me there we talk about a lot of stuff i talk about things that i don't uh, cover here like color mixing selling different things we have a lot of fun in patreon and i also have paintings for sale in my etsy store so have some fun and appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time